What's going on hikers? In today's video we are talking about some unexpected gear that you need to take out into the outdoors with you. The first one is a couple couplings that go with the Sawyer Squeeze filter. The first one, it actually comes with the filter. So when you buy this, it's gonna come with a gravity fed system. I cut a little piece of the hose off and attached it to the coupling. Then you screw it on the filter and this will prevent the filter from slipping around and getting your feet wet or losing some water whenever you're filtering. What happens to me, I have the bottle between my feet. I'm trying to squeeze the water in through the filter and then my feet get wet because the cap on top of the filter I don't love it. The second piece of gear you need to be taking out there is some type of saw. These are my favorites. This is the Silky Big Boy and the Silky Gom Boy. These things absolutely melt through wood. The Big Boy, I take it in the winter time when I don't mind carrying a little extra weight because we're not walking too far. Now the Gom Boy, <laughs> I've broken the tip on this thing. Uh, once or twice, I think I actually broke a friend's as well. So I'm really guilty of this, but the good thing is you can buy a new blade. They're very, very cheap and it's just one screw. You take it out, you put it back in with the new blade and you're good to go. The third piece of gear you probably have in your kitchen right now, and it is a little tiny towel that you can keep inside of your cook kit. And what you can do is you can wash out your cook kit and use this little towel to dry it, to clean it out, and you can win the award for the cleanest cook kit while you're out on trail. The fourth piece of gear on our list, fingerless gloves. Now, some people absolutely hate these because, yep, your fingertips can get cold, but I love the dexterity that I get, and it keeps my hands warm. I actually have two different brands. The ones I'm wearing were a gift from Mr. Backpacking with Jason, sir. Check out his channel. This is Outdoor Research makes these. Now, they don't have anything here on the palm as opposed to the Sims brand. These are a fishing glove and they have like a little rubber coating here right on the palm. So when you're sawing wood, you get a better grip. You know, you can still grab and fidget with stuff while you're out on trail and not have to take your gloves off. And you can still use your phone screen. The fifth piece of gear that you need to have with you when you head out to the backcountry is a good watch. Now the watch that I'm wearing right now is the Vare D4. And I absolutely love this. It's solar powered, so I never ever have to change the battery in it. Um, I can beat it up a little bit, but it's also got kind of a formal feel to it. So I can wear it if I'm going out, maybe with the wife or something like that. So it's checking several boxes. And this one is waterproof down to 220 meters or 660 feet. So if you're into diving or swimming, it's a great fit for that as well. But if you don't like the watch I'm wearing, you can check out today's video sponsor, which is VareWatches.com. Check out Vare Watches. I'll link them in the description below. And they have several different categories of watches to choose from and 39 different watches on their website currently as of filming this video. So you can go on there, shop around and see which one fits your needs. And since there's so many, they're at all different price points. So you can find something that fits within your budget. Don't forget, they also help the environment. 1% of their total revenue every single year goes to protecting wildlife and protecting ecosystems. So check out bearwatches.com link in the description. Our sixth piece of gear, it's related to this cold weather that I'm standing in because my coffee always gets cold if I'm not using this before I even get done drinking it. This is the GSI insulated mug. These are really popular on trail. The few things that I love about this, one, it keeps my coffee warm. Second, it has a little loop on the outside so it's actually like drinking out of a mug instead of some weird shaped bowl. It has a snap close lid so you can pop that open you never are gonna spill your coffee if you clip that closed. And one thing that's absolutely awesome about this is if you take dehydrated meals on trail and you need to measure out water, the measurements are on the cup. So then you're not adding too much or too little water to your dehydrated meal. Number seven on our list, I think I've used this more for friends than for me because they're always burning holes in everything. It is some type of gear tape. Now, these are both made by Gear Aid. One is black, one is clear. And the reason why is, you know, a black jacket, I wanna put a black patch on it if I can. So it's a little bit more inconspicuous, but this kind of material, it sticks perfectly to. If you have a different color, well, you can get a clear tape and then cut it to squares. These are more like stickers. Cut them into whatever size you need. This is literally a whole roll of gear tape. And I'll tell you what, you're still gonna see the, the white of the down behind this clear tape, but that's okay. 
because it adds just a little bit of patina, trail patina, to your gear. Number eight on our list today is the Infinity Tool made by Modal. I have a couple different sizes here. They also come in different colors, but they're basically a little makeshift ratchet strap and it pins in on itself. So very intuitive, very easy to use. I usually use mine to strap a chair to the outside of my backpack if there's not already rigging for that. I'll use a couple of these longer ones. And I gotta tell you, these things are great for bikepacking. They're great for around the house. They have a million different uses. If you look on the website, a bunch of people's uploaded images of how they use them, whether it's everyday life or in the outdoors. If you enjoyed today's video, make sure you give me one of these, subscribe to the channel, comment below, and let me know what gear would you add that should make it in everybody's pack.